They couldn't predicate upon a precipice. Bet I feel like Perseus, but less merciful. I'm thirstiest, most of all impervious. The wordsmith gets me. So we live in this world where artists make these things that sit inside society and they hold the history of all the things that go on and change throughout time. So as time changes, artists leave like a footprint, an imprint in history that tell the story of the world in which they lived in. And as an artist, you find yourself constantly ripping yourself open and bleeding across a canvas. And that canvas could be a typewriter. That canvas could be an actual canvas. It could be a piece of paper. It could be a wall. It could be a song. And those things hold the truth and the honesty of the feelings that people actually feel about the time that they live in. With all those wars going on that happen inside of you, you're oftentimes somehow pulled out of that by the actual things that are occurring around you. And that is why art is probably the most honest thing you run across. History books can be changed to indicate ruling parties, people who win wars. But a vase, a vase can be more honest. A painting can be more honest. A song can be more honest than anything else. I make what I make because it is an expression of my soul. It is the deepest and throbbingest part of my existence. The only thing I can say that consumes me more than the the paint on the the paint on the canvas is and this will sound corny to some of you, but it's true the love of my family. It makes me feel strong when my own voices inside of me make me feel weak. I don't pretend to know what the future holds for us, but I know that the art that we make in the next couple of years in one shape or another will be some bit of a protest. My father moved here when he was about my age for a better life. And so if I can make something that inspires someone else to come here for a better life, I will. Reading nausea in an orange tent, make mental note first time.